uh, genetic diversity is revealed by mitochondrial DNA sequences. And after that, I would like to present one cost action, which is kind of related to our uh, topic of the symposium, and to present uh, uh, maybe to those of you who would like to join. So, uh, as we said, uh, as we were told yesterday, and a lot of uh, uh, participants presented the data about brown hair populations in Vojvodina, uh, I will just give a few notes uh, and uh, from biological point of view, this is the only lipo species that can be found in Balkan Peninsula. Uh, as in the rest of the continent, remarkable decline of brown hair population has been detected for several decades and uh, main factors that led to this kind of event were described uh, and all of that can be grouped into anthropogenic effects. So uh, what are genetic consequences of such an impact on populations? So we uh, can expect inbreeding, local fixation of certain alleles, or reduced gene flow and genetic drift. And uh, the trend uh, what, uh, which is noticed in a uh, last, let's say, approximately a decade is the genetic variability decrease in the area. Uh, on the other hand, maintenance of genetic resources of locally adapted populations, and I think that Professor Bilkovic yesterday told us about the importance of micropopulations of brown hairs in the area, uh, so uh, it is not uh, of the short-term interest, but the, it's of the interest of the long-term development. So because this appearance of certain genes significantly reduces the chance for the future genetic variability, and uh, that implies uh, uh, losing the chance of adaptations to environmental changes that we fence. The, not just these days, but these, these decades. Uh, in order to, to prevent uh, such uh, occurrence, we should know what are we dealing with. So <coughs> continual monitoring is crucial in order to uh, uh, imply adequate uh, management of those populations. Uh, con continual monitoring of genetic diversity in this area they, dates from approximately a decade. And in those papers, we uh, uh, published the data that describe brown hair population in uh, this area, in whole Serbia, as a population with a moderate level of genetic diversity comparing to all other European populations. The aim of this study uh, was to determine genetic variability of brown hair population in Vojvodina region after a remarkable decline registered before the last hunting season and to compare with previously published data using uh, at this point one marker, uh, mitochondrial uh, uh, DNA. Uh, the, uh, the, the second aim was to provide data for planning of sustainable management of locally ad uh, adapted populations and that means to try to determine those locally adapted populations with a reduced gene flow or some other uh, uh, features. And of course, these data contribute to continuous monitoring of these game species in hunting grounds in Vojvodina. So uh, here is the map. I don't know whether you can see it well, but I have tried to mark uh, 10 different sampling localities and uh, in total, 90 specimens were collected. Uh, we have analyzed the sequence variability of mitochondrial uh, first hypervariable region, control region, and we used the standard protocol for the uh, amplification of this region, uh, purification of the uh, uh, amplicons of the genes, and sequence analysis. Uh, different softwares were used in order to uh, estimate the level of genetic variability and uh, to estimate or to try to estimate because it's still a single gene marker, uh, uh, the structure of this population. So here are the results. I won't go into the details, 
but uh, a different number, number of haplotypes was registered in a different uh, localities. And in total, we had 32 haplotypes, which is a remarkable number, but at the level of the previous research. So uh, no haplotypes were lost or uh, uh, no new haplotypes were registered. Haplotype diversity varied between uh, 0.7 and uh, 0.933, and also that is at the level that it was before this remarkable decline. So what is new? Uh, when we constructed neighbor joining tree, uh, clustering 10 brown here, uh, here is the term populations, but uh, we cannot uh, 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 state that there was a population locally, local populations from Vojvodina, based on pairwise FSD values. Uh, we haven't observed um, a certain significant level of clustering uh, that can distinguish, and that is something that we hypothesize. So it's one uh, population with a, a, a presence of gene flow. Uh, but uh, when we did, oh, this, this figure is not really so well, but uh, anyway, when we did SAMOVAS, analysis, so spatial analysis of molecular variants, we were able to distinguish between three genetically differentiated groups. So uh, obviously we have three separated groups statistically significant with the reduced, not absent, but reduced gene flow, flow among them. Uh, those two groups uh, are Margita, and you can see that group here and Sonta, the other group, which are uh, uh, genetically differentiated from all the others local adopted populations which actually made the third group. Uh, our first question was, okay, is the distance, but uh, I can go back on the map, but is the dis geographical distance the reason for that reduced gene flow? And we did correlation between genetic and geographic distance using mental test in isolation by distance software. And no, uh, uh, it is not significant. So uh, uh, that is not the main reason for the uh, genetic differentiation of these populations. Uh, what may or might be the reason, when we did uh, the and other grouping of our sequences according to the region, we can see that uh, Bačka and Srem is two regions in Vojvodina province clustering together versus the Banat. And uh, uh, this told us that uh, we uh, may not uh, completely forget the presence of the highway without any possible connection anymore between those regions. So maybe, and if I go back on the map, uh, sorry, th this is one of those uh, locally adopted and ge genetically differentiated population. The approximately, so approximately highways here. So we have two populations that are, okay, there is a geographic distance, but as you saw in the results, not significant, which, uh, which doesn't influence significantly on uh, the genetic differentiation. So in order to conclude those results and is that their usefulness, uh, we <coughs> found control region mtDNA marker as informative marker, which revealed the presence of intra and interpopulation genetic variability. Uh, Contrary to previous research uh, with different molecular markers supplied, higher genetic differentiation of brown hair populations was found and reduced gene flow among them. Uh, even though uh, isolation by distance, as you saw, didn't confirm the presence of <laughs> geographical barriers, uh, we cannot completely exclude the habitat fragmentation uh, for example, uh, caused by the uh, infrastructure as responsible for this event. Uh, and uh, we believe because we uh, so far uh, in, uh, that's the, those are samples from this last hunting season, 2012, 2013. So we believe that further genetic monitoring and controlled translocations uh, are required in order, order to 
to uh, uh, make uh, uh, good uh, management plans for these game species. Uh, I would like uh, also to thank, sorry, all the uh, 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 authorities who helped uh, uh, this research and we hope that uh, uh, next time when we see each other we will have maybe a more clear picture. Uh, as I said at the beginning, I would like also to present and to take advantage of this position here to, to give a presentation of a collaborative European network of rabbit genome biology, RGBNet. It is a cost action which is funded by, by European uh, uh, Commission and I'm the part of the management committee of this action. And, uh, I'm very proud to say that we have 21 European countries in this network and <clears throat> actually this section brings together all researchers in the field of rabbit uh, biology but uh, what might be interested to all of us it is that the uh, transition of rabbit genomic information uh, from experimental data to usable benefits and applications is the main point of this action. And uh, we have several working groups, and working group four deals with genetics and comparative genomics aspects of the study, exploitation, and management of wild lagomorphs. And uh, <clears throat> so far, uh, we had orga organized several uh, training schools uh, two, uh, like, uh, not uh, conferences, but uh, 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 meetings in order to present our data and to try to implement new molecular tools in order to provide uh, good information for all uh, Leporidae species. And uh, this is our uh, main aim, to transfer the knowledge from the rabbit genome, which is sequenced, to all other applications. So uh, uh, our, the users of this information are a variety of different uh, industries and uh, for example, uh, wildlife management or uh, hunters finally as the result of, uh, uh, as a result of uh, good management strategies. So if I uh, don't want to, uh, to bother to those who are not feeling in this uh, uh, subject, but I would like to refer to the websites where you can find uh, information. Uh, also, uh, we don't have participants from all European countries, and the idea of every uh, cost action and European Commission is to join uh, uh, as much as country as possible, and we have some participants here who are not in our cost action and I would really like to invite them and to contact me or Professor Luca Fontanesi from the University of Bologna who is uh, a leader of this cost action. Uh, so thank you, no, sorry, thank you once again and I hope that it, it's two of us but to have a nice discussion after that. Okay. <laughs>